Welcome into this Timberwolves fast break inside our Tree Orthopedic Studio. Kevin Lynch, Katie Storm with you. Minnesota, they were looking to bounce back after a tough loss in Dallas on Sunday. And that they did tonight in this third game of their four game trip against the Magic. 54% shooting from the floor, six players in double digits, and they dominated in the paint in this one. Yeah, they did, and that's actually, you know, the Magic are one of those teams that have been dominating opponents all year as far as points in the paint, so it's good to see Minnesota kind of reverse it. Real, this is one of the better wins, I think, this year. Uh, Orlando is one of the top teams in the East up to this point, and the big guys for Minnesota, Gobert, Nas Reed, and, of course, Carl Anthony Towns getting it done in so many different ways, and not just the points, but the rebounds, the assists. Had three steals as well, and a nice athletic drunk dunk that his teammates were digging when that took place. But Carl Anthony Towns, Katie, he was he was really good tonight. Carl Anthony Towns is good, especially out of the gates. 11 points in that first quarter. He was shooting perfect from deep all throughout the night, and he finished that way, going five for five from three-point range. Five uh, threes and 12 total threes for the Wolves tonight. So he made a big impact there in Minnesota. They held the Magic to just 36% shooting from the floor. This was also the 11th time this season the Wolves have held an opponent to under 100 points. It was a great effort all throughout as they got it done on the road. And another big player was Jaden McDaniels making a difference in this one with 15 points. He also tied a season high nine rebounds. And Chris Finn you like the efforts of Jaden McDaniels after this game. I thought Jaden was really, really good tonight on uh, on on Ben Caro. Um, Rudy was really, really good on the glass, and uh, you know, Cat uh, uh, thought went through a lot of matchups when he was on smalls and stuff like that. Did a really good job, um, and also, of course, you know, was the difference maker in the game offensively uh, in the second quarter. So the Wolves will wrap up their four game trip tomorrow night for the second half of this back to back. That'll be at the Garden with the Boston Celtics. Last time those two teams met, it was an overtime win for Minnesota at Target Center. The best in the East facing off against the best in the West. That'll be an exciting game to come. We'll have pregame for you starting at 530 p.m. right here on Bally Sports North is the Wolves after that will head home to host the Blazers and the Clippers. Some exciting action ahead, but this certainly was an exciting win tonight on the road. 113-92 the final. Thank you for joining us here on this Timberwolves Fast Break.